Hi everyone, what's going on? It's Natalie here back with a message for you guys. Hope everyone is doing well. So we're going to tap in and see what Spirit has for the collective in this reading. <clears throat> Keep in mind, energies can be reversed. Time is fluid. Not everything will resonate for everyone. So please use your discernment, all right? Let's see what's going on with the collective right now in this reading. Holy Spirit and Angels. All right, so we have inspiration and courage. Mm -hmm. You're not afraid of nothing. If someone's not afraid of something, seasonal harvest, because you know something is coming in for you. All right, well, it looks like you, you gained every right to not. It's like something about standing your ground or being brave. You, you pretty much gained every right to be brave. Pretty much gained every right to... Um, be able to stand on whatever that you're doing here. Someone may try to throw some throw some conflict magic at you or to like give you a messy look or try to make you look messy. Okay, so I'm also getting like someone like even um, made an offering to do this. It's like they wanted you to be seen a certain way and they have given an offering or something to make it so it would be that way but i'm also getting like you you pray and you give your offerings too so i'm getting like they try to make you look messy or something someone tried to make you look messy yeah they're throwing a lot of magic at you they kept doing it they keep doing it too they may still be trying to do it We got the Ace of Cups here. This is an overflow and abundance of something, but I'm also getting like an upgrade of gifts. Okay. Wow, the devil. Gifts like this always have devils around them. And it seems like what... So if you have a certain gift here, the reason why it kind of seems dark is because there's like entities around it or... You may have like a certain, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm getting a haunting. You may have like a haunting in your home. You may have to cleanse it out, but it's not, it's not you. It's the house. There's something here attached to it. Someone's trying to throw something at your house. Okay. You're not doing anything. You're just upgrading. So something here is intensifying. Yeah, the Ten of Pentacles reverse with the Four of Pentacles. What else? With the Eight of Cups. Someone's trying to hold on to someone, someone that's uh, not holding on to them or someone that's trying to walk away. Yeah, not a sword's reverse. This is like giving me, it's like someone nipping at your ankles as you walk away. It's like someone is really petty. Someone likes to project a lot of energy off onto you, but you're like very pure or it just like um, it sort of slides off of you. There's something here about karmic ancestors too. If you had karmic ancestors, they have no hold on you. They're trying to hold on to you, but they don't really. All you have to do is walk away from something. Something is not really controlling you. It's just like someone wants to make it seem like it is. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles reverse. It like slides off of you. Because you love yourself. It's either because you love yourself, you got new love coming in, or you're upgrading. It's like you're ascending right now. You don't even care about materials. It's like everything around you materialistically makes you sick. Even, like you may get sick around. Like you may be thinking, oh, let me buy that new purse. And then you buy it and like the purse kind of like just, you feel bad after buying it. And I'm not even getting buyer's remorse. I'm getting like, it's almost as if there's a spirit attached to it and it makes you uncomfortable. So you'd rather like not be attached to it. I don't know. I'm getting like a, someone wants you to be attached to like materials or something. Yeah. Queen of Pentacles reverse. I see what they're doing. They're trying to flip it around. They're trying to say you're attached to materials, but that's not true. Something is just abundant around you. It's like, you can't help it. Someone else is very greedy. They hold on to things. They're they're very uh, 
materialistic. You know what I mean? It's like they, they base their life off of materials. Whereas you are not attached. But you have a lot of materials. I hear, I'm hearing you have a lot of materials. But there's something about like um, not too much. There's something about an abundance of things kind of like throws you off. You don't know why, but it does. It, an abundance or too much of something where you're not, it's not balanced. It throws you off, so you'd rather not have it. You guys could be probably selling things. Someone could be looking at you like, why are you selling that? Don't give that away. Or you should be raising your prices. It's like this is someone who, um, they're trying to make you materialistic like them. Somebody. But your gifts are upgrading, so it's like that's all you care about right now. Yeah, the King of Pentacles. Also, this could be a masculine leaving a feminine here. Someone that's way too materialistic. This, um, this masculine could be married to somebody and the couple has everything that anyone could ever ask for. But this masculine is very unhappy. He's seeing this. He's seeing something that he's very unhappy. Like, yeah, we have everything, but we're not happy. I need to get rid of it. I feel like it's attached to the materials and this feminine is like, no. Keep the cars, keep the extra uh, room. We need more furniture in here. It's like, there's something here very materialistic about this feminine here. And they may want to like walk away or move on. Or they're not, they're no longer afraid of saying money isn't everything. What's the Ace of Cups? Yeah, the Ace of Pentacles reverse with the Queen of Swords reverse. It's like she's not... She's not happy to hear this news. Also, someone wanted to benefit off of this masculine. And some like she just wanted to benefit off this masculine. She sees this masculine as nothing but money. What's the Ten of Pentacles reverse? So this masculine may have fell in love with somebody too, with the Ace of Cups. There's something new that he's falling in love with. He doesn't care about materials. It's going to be a couple, like, they will buy each other things all the time. And it's not satisfying to him. I don't know. There's something going on with, like, the money. They feel something evil attached to it. Yeah, the Queen of Cups of her, she's upset. She's crying and everything. Because she's being dropped. I'm also getting, like, she's attached to a karmic masculine here. She's attached to a karmic masculine. What's the Four of Pentacles? So they want to hold on to something here. or they, they just, someone is very greedy. It's a feminine here. She's really greedy. She wants this masculine to stay stuck to her. Then we have this karmic masculine here. Who's the uh, King of Swords reverse? Yeah, the Five of Swords reverse. They may have like sent someone out to track this masculine. Didn't find any information on them. Someone may have acts like a private investigator to watch this person or to like keep track of the masculine or something. Or this could be a, femi a feminine moving on, walking away from this masculine here who's a narcissist. Lies, makes things up. What's the Eight of Cups? There's a couple out here. I don't know if it's like a, a female in a relationship already and she's still trying to stop a man from moving forward. There goes my voice. There goes my voice. <clears throat> so this is supposed to be a secret, but it's not a secret anymore. It's like this couple wants this masculine to stay stuck. This is that reading that I was doing the other day about Someone wants someone to stick around to pay their bills. And it's a masculine here. They want a masculine to uh, stick around and pay something for them. What's the uh, Eight of Cups? The Six of Swords? Yeah. Someone's still moving on. Someone's going through Dark Night of the Soul and this feminine is mad about it. She's so mad about it. It's like also giving me something like she didn't really even care about this masculine. She only cares about the money. What's the Knight of Swords reverse? But she's still mad that he's moving on. What's the Knight of Swords reverse? Yeah, the Six of, Six of Wands reverse. Something about clout chasing, trying to get attention. 
nobody likes this person. They see this person as a bully, a liar. They're not getting like the right attention right now. They don't even care how they look is what I'm getting. They don't. They're still doing whatever that they're getting caught doing. They're still doing it. So this is that brave person I was picking up in the beginning. Someone's really brave. They're brave to keep playing this game, but they're going to get knocked right. They're going to get wiped out. Or it's like this masculine has to make a choice to not let this woman, you know, use him like this. What's the Seven of Pentacles reverse? The Page of Pentacles and the Three of Wands. Yeah, someone found some sort of information. Now they're excited and they're waiting for something new to come in. They're manifesting right now. And this feminine does not like it. It makes her very, very uncomfortable because she's not getting what she wants right now. There may be a new person in this masculine's life also is what I'm getting. Something new he fell in love with. He fell in love with some sort of information, some sort of new avenue of doing something or a way of doing something here. And this materialistic, selfish feminine over here is mad. What's the Nine of Cups reverse? The Three of Swords. Yeah, it's definitely some sort of third party here. She can't cast any sort of illusions anymore. She's caught. She feels betrayed by this, but whatever. Like, I feel like this energy is giving me, like, a spoiled brat <laughs> who won't give up. What's the Queen of Pentacles reverse? This is also, like, a dark witch to me. What's the Queen of Pentacles reverse? King of Wands reverse. There's a there's a masculine around her somewhere. She's with somebody that's lazy. She's with someone that's not a real leader or something. What's the King of Wands reverse? Temperance reverse. It could be a Sagittarius or Gemini. Yeah, they're in a, a karmic relationship trying to stop this masculine from moving forward. This uh, King of Wands universe has anger problems. What's the Moon universe? I'm trying to figure out like why this mask on here is all up in. It's it's giving me energy where like uh. It's it's weird. Like you know how you hear stories where the feminine, um, is trying to leave and the feminine. It's not. It's no fun anymore to have the masculine anymore because the feminine doesn't want to fight them for it. Yeah, exact same way. Exact same story, but with masculines. Like, I didn't know masculines thought this way. This masculine no, no longer wants this feminine anymore because this divine masculine don't want to fight for her. It's like they, they're taking, but they're, they can only take their anger out on this uh, Queen of Pentacles reverse here. What's the moon reverse? This masculine, this karmic masculine could be like abusive or something. What's the moon reverse? Four of Wands reverse. And the Six of Pentacles reverse, yeah. So they're in a relate, they're in a relationship. This female here, and she's not being provided for, or something isn't being given to her. This masculine over here gave her everything, so it's like she needs that masculine. But the cycle's already closed out. There's something about like they sealed the deal over there, or they may have actually even gotten married. But it's. It's, it's recklessness. It's like someone doesn't want all their business to come out. They don't want to be seen as low grade or cheap or something like that. Because they were with a divine masculine that would give them anything. And now they like regret leaving this masculine. But not because they love them or anything. It's because of what they were pro being provided with. What's the uh, King of Pentacles? What's the King of Pentacles? It's like they want this masculine to save them or something from this uh, person that they're with right now. And yeah, Nine of Wands reverse. Yeah, Eight of Swords reverse. This person maybe used to fight for this person, but they're not doing that anymore. They're trying to escape. They're like, no, I'm not. Yeah, I got other plans. Yeah, Ten of Swords reverse. It's like they wanted this masculine to like be betrayed with them. Because it looks like something's going on at home or something to where it's unrequited or it's karmic or it may only like be sexual. And she may be going through something right now. She needs money or something. She 
she needs uh, that lifestyle back. She's trying to get her uh, lifestyle back that she had with this masculine. I guess she thought she was going to get it through this King of Wands reverse and it's not working out too well. There's going to be a lot of fighting going on. Knight of Pentacles reverse with the knight. Yeah, there she is again. Someone is very irresponsible. Someone is like running around scrambling looking for money right now. While this masked one over here is leaving. And the crazy part about it, I feel like they're... At first they used to... Okay, this is stupid. At first they used to... Um, if this person has two child... You know, they have uh, two different kids by two different dads, right? They like to do this thing where they would uh, sick one on the other. Now it's reversed. Now they're trying to uh, sick the person that's abusive that they wanted this masculine to save them from. Now they want to uh, sick the abusive masculine on the divine masculine. Like, yeah, because she needs money or something. Seven of Swords reverse. She don't even care how she looks anymore. The Hierophant reverse. We got the Justice. Four of Wands, Justice Reverse, Page of Pentacles. Yeah, some of it feels like it's unfair because it's not fair that this masculine has gotten this new job or this money or something or some sort of new information or proof of something. There's something that this masculine is looking at in his phone, but I feel like it has nothing to do with this feminine at all. He's not worried about this feminine. I feel like what he's doing is he lo he's looking up information on how to succeed at something, like maybe going to school or something like that. He's actually seeing results in something, okay? I'm also getting like he may want to like bring in a solid offer, but here's this karmic masculine here. What is this? Because there's a karmic, there's a king of swords reverse here. Very narcissistic. It may be this feminine, this karmic, karmic's feminine's partner. Four of swords reverse, yeah. King of cups reverse. Or this is a Divine Feminine's ex, too, that I'm tapping into. But I'm getting like someone's very corrupt. It's like they're a corrupt police officer or they act very noble, but they're not. They're very unfair, cruel. Someone may do something to themselves or others if they don't get their way. Like I'm getting like someone does not care right now. They do not care how they look. They do not care to... Uh, run their mouth. Someone is running their mouth. What's the Knight of Pentacles reverse? It's like a, it's like two criminals. They're dating or something that I'm picking up here. Yeah, Nine of Cups reverse. They're trying to, they're running around trying to find money. They're not comfortable right now. Their lifestyle is affected. This couple's lifestyle is crappy without this masculine involved or this feminine. But I'm picking up more masculine. I feel like masculine, you have your ex is with somebody already and they want you to do everything for them. And as a result, they're both like coming after you. Like this is not like a situation where they don't like they don't they, they don't know what, what's going on or what they're doing. No, this is someone that knows that you know and they're coming after you now. To start drama. Them and their person. Like just picture that. What's the fool here? Yeah, the star. So you're into bigger and better things right now. Whoever I'm tapping into, you could be Aries or Aquarius. Very innovative. You're healing. I feel like, yeah, like I got in the beginning, it's like you're not focused on money right now at all. And it's like making something slide off of you. Like something is not able to touch you because you have no sort of like, um, I feel like you're learning a lesson about money here. What's the... Uh, Seven of Swords reverse. You're learning a lesson about wealth and like sometimes too much wealth can make you sick. Page of Wands with the King of Wands here. And the Eight of Swords. What's the King of Wands, Page of Wands? Five of Wands. I'm getting also there's two masculines competing in you know in the in the spirit realm right now. What's the higher front reverse? 
Hierophant reverse. There's some sort of cult or family or community here that found something out. So a community found something out. Someone is trying to cover up evidence right now at this time, but, it, but the community knows. The community at one point was uh, on the wrong side. Now I feel like the community is trying to switch sides now because they even found something out too or they put two and two together or something wasn't making sense. Or someone figured out, an, an, they figured out a cult. They figured out if a bunch of people believed in the wrong thing, that makes it a cult. They're figuring this out and they've invested poorly into it. Whoever that is. Someone could be like an um, investigator. What's the four of wands? Yeah, the three of pentacles. Someone is learning something. They're learning something about relationships and I feel like they're healing from it. So this could be this masculine here. Um, I did a reading about someone realizing that they are in a cult or there's a certain mindset. Something about the culture here. There's a, a warped view of the culture and what it's about and how everything is like culturized, culturalized, or if that's even a word. But that's what the word comes, that's what the word cult comes from. It's like a, um, a collective mindset, but it doesn't make it a good thing. Like someone, it's like a group of people that believe in the wrong thing out here. And I feel like someone is seeing this. What's justice in the reverse? I mean, I mean, it's not exactly like right or wrong, but it's very, it doesn't matter. Like that's what I'm getting. Like someone has seen that things, certain things just don't matter. And the culture feels like it matters. And they're, they're like, no, I'm not involved in that. Okay. King of Pentacles with the Eight of Wands. This masculine is coming out on top. And someone is getting karma for uh, attacking this masculine. Someone just feels like it's not fair that this masculine still has a lot of everything, but they don't care about it. It's like they feel like this masculine doesn't deserve it. It could also be man. It could be man or woman. But it's like giving me like um, if someone feels like, oh, well, this person has a lot of this, but they don't even care about it. They'll even sell it all. So we need to take it from them. But that doesn't mean... Just because someone is generous and willing to give doesn't mean go take it from them. Or like they don't deserve to have it. Like what does that mean? They see like you waste money or something. They say that you waste money or they feel like you waste money because you're generous or you give it away. Or you may tip more than usual at a restaurant or something like that here. It's like they feel like you, you have uh, uh, an abundance of something here. What's the king... Of swords reverse. Someone was on a mission and the mission failed. The mission failed. We have the world here. The four of cups reverse. Yeah, someone was definitely on a mission to have you rejected or to close out a cycle. I feel I feel like also someone is locked in a relationship. It's like they sealed the deal and they're in a relationship with somebody. That is just like them. That's materialistic like them. Or this is like energy where both of your guys. If you're in a connection. Both of your guys' exes are doing this. They're both in this energy where like. They don't really care about the person. They just care about the the materials that comes with it. Or whatever comes with it. What's the two of pentacles reverse? The empress. Yeah. The emperor reverse. This could be a masculine. Mad that an empress is dropping him. Oh, they did that to themselves. They were easily influenced by others or they were letting their their um, empire being be ran by women, but they let their empire be ran by Jezebel women. So they fell for that. Whoever that whoever that was for. What's the Empress with the two uh, Pentacles reverse? So you dropped this, you you thought it was, that, yeah, you're too strong for this or like you could build your own empire or you're too resilient to be taken down because this person lets their um, empire be ran by others. This is like a boss that you never see because the managers are still like the managers are always running the store, but you never see the boss. 
and the managers don't listen to the boss or the boss gave his position to one of the managers or something like that. So it's something going on where like you never see the boss. It's like their their kingdom is being ran by women here. Bad women. What's the four of swords reverse? So that's where all their money is going to. And I feel like this feminine has, has dropped this man or something. She doesn't want to be around somebody that's being ran by women. Four of swords reverse. Page of Cups reverse. What's the four of swords reverse with the Page of Cups reverse? This person's not even a boss, really. It's like they're not anything that they say that they are. And they're upset about you moving forward to like the, the real thing or someone that's for you. And they're not being seen as someone for you. Judgment is here. They're in denial about this. I feel like they give attention to the wrong people. And then they try to like keep you, keep a strong hold on you with magic. So they, they like to keep, they like to keep multiple women around them or something. Whoever this masculine is or feminine. Yeah, addiction. Codependent, obsession, and restraint, possession, and control, emotional block. Yeah, this person is very possessive. We got Phoenix. Not enough. Teddy bear, partying. Yeah, I feel like also you, you've ascended. You've been ascending this whole time. Abundance, love call, coffee cup. We got narcissist and love. I feel like you guys are heading into a, you're just heading straight into a connection. There's nothing that this person can do about it. Someone is always partying though. While you're living in the moment. We got readiness. Oh, you guys are going to be like indulging with your person. Someone is ready to start something with you. And it has nothing to do with money is what I just heard. Even though they may have it. Someone may try to say that uh, you're a gold digger though. So be careful with that. You know they're going to try to use that one. Um, evolving and growth. Next phase. Healing inner child and heal releasing the past. Yeah, so this person. I feel like this masculine. They don't want to be around like somebody where it's all about the money. Or this woman here. She doesn't want to be around someone where it's like all about the money. Because if you're a woman, someone is man someone is making money off of your energy right now. Yeah, key on the ring, karmic relationship. They just want to keep you attached, man or woman. Mirror, mirroring each other's self-reflection, introspection, inner wounds. I feel like you're mirroring somebody else's energy. They've been through the exact same thing. It's like people just want people for like what they can give them. It's not really about like them as a person. And I feel like if this, if there's a masculine out here that is wealthy, he will give everything to somebody that actually likes him as a person. And I feel like that's where the lesson is coming in. Feminine too. If you are very a very wealthy woman, you want someone that likes you as a person. You don't want someone that just likes you because of like your title or what you can bring to the table. It's more like your energy. And I feel like you both are mirroring this um, lesson here. Okay. So this is your guys' reading. Hope this resonates for you. If it does, go ahead and like, subscribe, share to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos. I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.